this video I'm going to discuss binary to decimal conversion. But before I do this, I want to take a look at positional notation or place values. I have the number 2168 here. If we look at the place values of the number 2168, we can see that the place values have the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands place, ten thousand, hundred thousand, and million. These are the place values of the base 10 decimal number system. You can see that we have the number 2 in the 1000s place, so we have two 1000s. We have a 1 in the 100s place for 100. We have 6 in the 10s place for 60. And we have 8 in the 1s place for 8. So effectively, we have two 1000s, one 100, six 10s for 60, and eight 1s for 8. Now when we're talking about the place values in the decimal number system, we're talking about the powers of 10. You can see that the ones place is the 10 to the 0, the tens place 10 to the 1, the hundreds place 10 to the 2, or 10 times 10, which is 100, the thousands place is the 10 to the 3, or 10 times 10 times 10, and so on and so forth. So you can see that the place values are based on powers of 10. If we look at the number 2168 then, in long form, we can see that effectively we have two one thousands, one one hundred, six tens, and eight ones, and two thousand plus one hundred plus sixty plus eight totals two thousand one hundred and sixty eight. This is the type of counting and addition that we learn as children. The decimal system is base ten. It's based on the fact that you have one powers of ten, but more importantly, you have 10 characters or 10 numerals in this counting system from 0 all the way up to 9. So that means that in each place value, you can have anywhere from the number 0 up to the number 9. In other words, if I had the number 9,168, I'd simply replace the 2 here with a 9, and now I have 9 1,000s totaling 9,000 in the 1,000s place. So in any one of these place values, you can have the number 0 all the way up to 9. This is the base 10 decimal number system. If we consider binary and look at it in the same light as decimal, binary is a base 2 number system. There's only two characters, or two numbers, 0 and 1. So under the place values, we can only have zeros or 1s. The place values go from 1, which is 2 to the 0, to 2, 2 to the 1, 4, 2 to the 2, 8, 2 to the 3, or 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16, that's 2 to the 4th power, place value of 16, the 32's place, the 64's place, and the 128's place. Notice that I extended the table to 8 place values. That's because 8 bits is an important grouping of numbers. 8 bits makes a byte in computer processing. So now I have the place values for essentially 8 bits. If I want to write the number 168 in binary, I just have to find the corresponding place values and plug in either a 1 or a 0. So I'll go to the 128's place and ask myself, do I need 128 to reach 168? Yes, I do. So I'll put a 1 there. Now, do I need a 64? I already have a 128. If I add 64, I would get 192 because 128 plus 64 is 192. So the answer is no, so I put a 0. I still have 128 now. Now, do I need a 32? 128 plus 32 is 160, so yes, I could use a 1 here. Now I have 160. Do I need a 16? No, that would make 176, which would go over my target number of 168. I'll put a 0 here. What about an 8? If I add an 8, I'll hit the number perfectly. 128 plus 32 plus 8 is 168. I'll follow this up with zeros in the 4's place, the 2's place, and the 1's place. And 168 in binary equals 1010100. I now have 
1, 128, I have 1, 32, and I have 1, 8, and 128 plus 32 plus 8 equals 168. If we go to the next slide, you can see now that I'm now charged with converting the number 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 to decimal. If I want to go the opposite way and convert this binary number to decimal, all I need to do is plug it into the place values. I'll put it in here, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, and then add it up. I have a 64 and I have a 32. 64 plus 32 is 96. Plus, I have an 8, that makes 104. Plus 4 makes 108. Plus 1 makes 109. This number, converted to decimal, is the number 109. Now let's look at a full IP address in binary. I'll go to my next slide. And you can see in this next slide, I now have a 32-bit IP address four octets, or 32 bits total. If I want to convert this binary IP address to decimal, all I need to do is count up each individual octet. Let's start with the first one right here. We can see that 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 128 plus 64 is 192. Now the next octet has 10101. One, one. Let's do that one. 0, 1, 0, 1, and then all zeros. If we count up the numbers, 128 plus 32 is 160 plus 8 is 168. The next octet is all zeros with a 1 in the last place in the ones place. This is easy. This is the number 1. All zeros and a 1 in the ones place makes the number 1. And then finally, we have a number here. I'll plug it in here into my table. And I have the number 01100101. We can see that 64 plus 32, we've already said, is 96. Plus 4 is 100. Plus 1 is 101. So the conversion of this binary IP address to decimal is 192.168.1.101.